Welcome to the Bearded Nomad Van Life. Added a, an addition here. So fuzzy. It's like having a kitty cat in my van. Added this rug. No more cold feet touching cold, cold linoleum floor. It's amazing with the heater, I can make it so warm in here that it, chased me, it can chase me out of the van. But the floor is still cold. So now, TJ Maxx had this sweet rug so I went and picked it up this morning today so now still got my towels here for when I get in with wet feet and then but then once I get my boots off or my sneakers off I'm fuzzy fuzzy warm rug to place my feet on Makes it a little more homey. But, a little short video here is fair. I'd add that. Show the addition. But, oh, and on a side note, it appears that the repair for anybody that may be getting into van life and thinking about a smart charger the no code genus I got the 10 amp kind of wish I would have went with a bigger a bigger amp now just so it would put push more juice faster when I'm plugged up the shore power but the 10 amp does sufficient but the repair mode that it has appears to have worked because since I did the repair over the weekend, using lights and running my heater all night off the batteries, I think this morning it was down to 88%, but yet the voltage was still showing high enough that the fridge and freezer is not going into error mode. So it appears that the that seems that the repair mode on the smart charger worked. It's got rid of the sulfated battery situation, and we're good to go. So if anybody's thinking about a charger, the Noco Genus is definitely a decent charger. At a fair price. I forget what I paid for that. I'd have to look at my Amazon past purchases, but it wasn't a bad price. And it's definitely a good little charger. So, soon time to go to work. So, catch y'all later. Remember, fight for love, not hate. Lighter.